I came here and had a chance to speak with the staff and the uh, faculty and was really impressed with the both the quality of faculty and um, the diverse uh, the diverse range of programs that they have here. Force is a very close knit community. Um, the 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 faculty and staff, you know, the executive council of the school have a very open door policy. They're always willing to listen to students' input on things and how they can make the program better. And uh, that's one of the things that I really like. There's not a huge bureaucratic, you know, overhead that you have to go through in order to try to make changes around here if if you feel that they're need. So not only can you go there for the uh, guidance and mentorship if you're seeking that, but as well as you know, if you feel like there's little things that could be changed to make things better, then and then you have that ability. I have been involved in the student groups that are associated with those programs and the good thing about that is that there is uh, opportunities for research, opportunities to learn more about the uh, significant topics that are being discussed in those areas and then it also gives you a better opportunity to become associated with the directors of the programs. And, uh, and having the mentorship not only from the directors but also from older students is, is a huge benefit from those student groups and being able to know what to expect coming up, uh, being able to learn about those is very helpful. The clinic is a great resource, especially for anybody going into a doctoral program in psychology. You know, you have to get your hours um, in order to get your degree, and that experience is priceless. And, this, and that we have that close-knit association with our own clinic is invaluable. a lot more humid, a lot more, uh, a lot more green than I'm used to, uh, but also the people seem to be a lot more friendly. I really enjoy that. You know, uh, people here are very welcoming, very willing to help out, very nice and stuff, and I really enjoy that about Springfield. A very, it's, a, it's a good sized town, but it has more of a feel of a much more close-knit community than, than you'd think. most memorable thing when I first came to Springfield was uh, I hadn't completely prepared to uh, for a living environment so I ended up living in a hotel for a few for a few weeks right before and the, including the start of school so uh, that was a little bit of a challenge <laughs> you know my wife still uh, harasses me about that too even to today do your homework think about the decisions you make you know um, be prepared to make changes and work harder than you think you might need to. Uh, don't just assume that you know what to expect and that uh, you're automatically prepared for everything. Um, but once you've made that decision, be willing to do whatever it takes, you know, adapt to the situation, adapt to the challenges that you may face, and, uh, and you'll do fine. I think that uh, anybody's capable, you know, just the level of commitment and determination that you may have is, is what will make the difference for you.